I used to believe that all bubbles were simply crafted with soap. But did you know you can blow bubbles using corn flour? Or make them stronger with glycerin or jiggly gum? Now this got me wondering, can you blow edible bubbles that taste good? So, naturally, I'm gonna build a Lego contraption to blow some big ass bubbles, test out some different ingredients, and rank them by flavor. To start with, we need to blow some air. I figure this black fan here might work. However, once it's geared up to be strong enough to blow the bubble, it's also strong enough to pop it. It seems to be because bubbles want a concentrated jet of air, like this. And I want big bubbles, none of this pathetic stuff. So, not wanting to build a massive funnel, I decided instead to make a nice big ring using these red pieces. And then if I can find some tiny propellers, they can fit inside the ring, and I can blow the bubble from there. Next then, we need a small gearbox. This worm gear, when I stick it in here, will interface with this gear here. And this creates some nice slow rotation. Then we'll want to spin the propellers like really fast. These are tiny props, so like really, really fast. Let's see. Yeah, that's quite the gear ratio. These gears need to be as frictionless as possible, so these support pieces will keep everything aligned. Hopefully, this XL motor will have enough torque to drive the fan. Now, if we attach these two together, we have a singular unit that both drives the fan and also this rotating thingy. I want to make this thing blow a bubble and then scoop up some more liquid so that we can blow another bubble over and over. So if I attach these lift arms here, and then add our red ring, and then hook these dudes up, we now have a contraption that both blows and cycles through its soap scooping motion, all in one relatively simple machine. Now I wonder though, if we can speed up the fan even more using an L motor. I believe they run a little faster, but might have a little less torque. Let's see. Hmm, for some reason, LEGO doesn't have a bubble blower in their powered up app. So I guess we're driving the Batman bubble mobile instead. Hmm, this is slower. Okay, back to the XL motor. That's better, this clearly needs more torque. And then for pff, no particular reason, let's zhuzh this up a little with a, a flashing light attached to the ring. There we go, now we can give it a test by sticking this dude in the ring. <laughs> nice. If you'd like to see more of these silly LEGO experiments, feel free to subscribe or drop a like. Cheers! A thought occurs. I haven't shown my usual banana for scale yet. So uh, here's a banana for scale, nothing else. Actually this one might be too curvy. How about this one? Much better. Yeah. Perfect. Well, if it can blow a banana, it can blow a bubble. Let's try some regular dishwashing soap. This seems to be the way that most folks make bubbles. And for good reason. That's a big ass bubble. But the question is, how does it taste? <laughs> it tastes like doing the dishes. But what if it doesn't have to? ChatGPT says we can make bubbles using delicious things like custard and gelatin and sugars like cream soda. So today, 
I'm gonna try making bubbles with some things lying around in my kitchen, and naturally, we're gonna rank them by flavor, smell, and maybe bubble quality. Why not? Alright, let's make some gourmet bubbles. Now we've already tried fairy liquid and water as our control, so how does it fare? Well, it's soap. It tastes like soap, but I guess it smells okay. Yeah, 3 out of 10. Now, what about jelly? Or for you Americans, jello. Gelatin is supposed to create bubbles even without soap, so this could be a real winner. After mixing up this powder and letting it sit, Nope. Now ChatGPT says add glycerin to strengthen it. Nope. Then it suggests adding more sugar. This fake maple syrup should do. Yeah, nope. You <laughs> lied to me, ChatGPT. Well, I'm not letting the machines beat me, so I guess I'm just gonna have to add a little soap until I get some bubbles. Yeah, this might taste a little worse, but we're doing science here. Sometimes we gotta make sacrifices. Okay, so my verdict. Smells amazing, makes a lot of mess though, and tastes... pretty. 6 out of 10. This next one I'm excited for. This here is cream soda. I'm from South Africa where it's the correct color, a sickly medicine green. And if you Americans disagree, let's take it to the comments and I'll explain why you're just wrong. Now the high sugar content here supposedly helps bubbles. By itself it doesn't seem to do much. Perhaps just a little soap? Nope. More soap? Nope. More soap? Ooh. Nope. <sighs> At this point it's just soap. Sniff test? Ugh, barely even a hint of cream soda. But it's so thick, at least it doesn't spill much. Taste? Ugh, oh, revolting. Just concentrated soap. 1 out of 10. Next. Apparently corn flour makes good bubbles. If that's the case, then surely custard powder is just tastier corn flour? Let me give this one an early sniff test. <clears throat> yep, that's good. Now, let's make some watery, runny custard. I'm gonna add some maple syrup for bubble robustness. Mm. Tasty. Let's see, any bubbles yet? Yeah, sorta. But not really. <laughs> okay, I guess we still need some soapy encouragement. Hmm, okay. And flavor? <laughs> Worst custard ever. But I like the color. 3 out of 10. This stuff here is xanthan gum. When I pour it on things... Uh, fuck. Alright, let me mix it in this uh, skull thing. Unfortunately I can't see anything because it's white, so I'm just gonna add this blue food dye. And I don't want to ruin my clothes, so I, I guess I'm gonna have to take them off for this one. Ugh, sticky. But it's supposed to make great bubbles, so let's give this a try. Hmm, yet again, maybe some soap. Ooh, that's a strong bubble. Tasty? Not so much actually, but doesn't taste a much, so what if I add some zesty orange concentrate? Damn, that's a big tasty bubble. 7 out of 10. Next! This is baby oil. Now, mistaking glycerin for a lipid, I figured it's gotta be something like glycerin. Shame on me. And ChatGPT told me it wouldn't work. So I ignored it and just decided to force feed it soap until it works. I'm not letting a machine tell me what I can't do. Hmm, nope. And some more? And some more? And some more? And more? Pfft. Pathetic. I was also disappointed to learn that not only is this stuff not made of babies, 
It doesn't even taste like them. 0 out of 10. And lastly, this stuff. This is creme de la creme body wash. Okay, so it doesn't look amazing, but man, this is the best smelling stuff you can imagine. And the bubbles are beautiful and robust. They say you taste with your nose, so I'd love to give this a 12 out of 10, but I have to drop a point due to these weird puddles. 11 out of 10. So, what have we learned? Well, I've learned ChatGPT is a liar. There's a reason they make bubbles out of soap. You just can't beat the original. By the way, on a personal note, I've just been overwhelmed by the positive encouragement from all of you on this very new channel. And if anyone would like to support the channel and the silly experiments I do, memberships are now available just beneath the video. I really do appreciate all of your enthusiasm. Thank you.